Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Welcome to today's study. I really like the theme we're in this year on being honest and being truthful, because I believe one of the things that we run from is truth. There's a statement I made in a sermon I want to repeat. It's in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. And I was answering the question about what must you do if you want to be a strong person? And I believe it's very simple, but it's a very profound thought. Commit to being strong. I want to talk about the word commitment today. I'm going to read a verse. It's in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want you to think about that one statement. Grow in the grace and the knowledge. You must, if you're going to be a, a truthful and a blessed person, you must commit to that. I want to be strong. You must make a commitment. So I want, to, I want you to have a, a truthful moment where you sit back and say, okay, let me see what I'm committed to. Now, if we're honest, we're committed to watching certain sports, right? Some people are committed to going to work. They're committed to certain love relationships. And you can go through a list of things. What are you committed to? In this text, Peter says we need to be committed to growing in two things, grace and, he says, grow in knowledge. Get it right here. Grace and knowledge. Grace is a big word. Grace basically has to do with growing and experiencing God's goodness. It's, 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 it's striving to be like him, having an, an open heart to God's best for your life. And then the second part of it is grow in your knowledge. I, I want to grow in my intimate, personal relationships with God. I want God's best, God's grace, God's favor in my life. I want to grow in that experience. And I, I feel like I'm living in it. I see the grace of God in my life, my marriage, my church. Uh, I see the grace of God in what I get to do. Talking to you, part of the goodness of God, is, is, is me experiencing God's best. You want to grow in that experience. But you also want to grow in knowledge. There's nothing like knowing yourself. There's nothing like being informed. So you're not confused. You now know for you, yourself, what works, what doesn't work, what's right, what's not right. And, and my goal in life is to always be growing. Now, I'll tell you what's interesting. If you think this, of this concept in, in, in the context of what it's presented, uh, some people teach you that growing is about going to the next level. You know, it's like I need to have the next level of income, the next job, the next, the next, you know, whatever. And th th that's not what this is really about. It's about growing in grace. It's about experiencing God. It's about learning how he thinks and how he operates. It's, it's an intimate relationship verse. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. It's about, I want to know him. It's, like, it's kind of that intimate, special thing you have with your wife or your husband or someone that you're married to where you are a friend, where you get to know them. And there's that sense that I, I know uh, your, your heart, your passion. And that's what God says. I, Peter says you've got to grow in your intimate relationship with God, how he thinks, how he processes. And it helps you in your daily life. Now, a lot of people... Ah, they think growing is about size, you know, and that was a temptation for us, you know. Well, how many people we got? You know, it's a thousand. All right, two thousand, you know. I remember standing uh, in some of our larger gatherings, and it would be just thousands of people or hundreds of people, and it would be just be crowds of people coming, and I'd be greeting, hi, how are you, how are you? In those moments, I've said to myself, wow, if this is all that there is, I missed it. It's not about growing in some experience or even travel. It's in my walk with the living God. It's learning him and, and knowing his heart and understanding how he thinks and processes and, and seeking to experience his grace in my life, his favor in my life. The crowds are great. Uh, whatever we get to do, that's nice, but that's still not as good as growing in the grace. Peter knew that because Peter grew in grace. He had a lot of problems. He had a lot of issues. <laughs> he, he had a lot of growth. So it's really great to hear a guy talk about growth. And I want to talk to you about your growth. Peter grew. Peter denied Christ had issues, but he grew. He grew in grace. He saw grace extended to him. And I want to tell you, God wants to extend grace to you, goodness to you. That's what that means. So let's pray. Father, I pray for those who are listening today. May this be a moment where they say, Father, let me grow in your grace and in your knowledge. I want to experience your goodness and your best for my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, it's been a joy to be with you. It always is. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. I pastor Overcoming by Faith in Savannah, Georgia. If you like what you heard today, link it and send it to a friend. I'll see you next time on our weekly devotion. Bye-bye.